Door counties. I'll tell you a little bit oh, about our oh. famous uh, fish foils that we do up here, starting with the fish we use. It's what I have right over here. I do walk around the whole circle to show you what they look like before I put them in. So if you want a picture of them, just have your phone out and ready because I got to kind of keep moving. Everything's done on my little timer here. So uh, fish we use for our fish foils here in Door County, they're fresh. Local caught Lake Michigan whitefish. They're all caught from the waters that surround the peninsula, both Lake Michigan side and Bay side, depending on the time of year. And we buy all of our fish from a local fisherman right here in Door County. We get fresh fish delivered just about every other day. Yours were all caught just yesterday morning. Uh, they, uh, I, I do walk around the shirt to look like in a minute, so uh, if you want to get a picture, just have your phone out ready. Uh, these are white fish steaks too. There are bones in the fish, although the servers quickly remove the bones for you. So believe me, it makes for a much more enjoyable experience. <laughs> How are we doing? How's the pooch? Wow. <laughs> Good. Good. I actually caught like 3,000 pounds of these yesterday. Oh, my later. <laughs> All right, these go in the kettle for seven minutes and that should be right about now. First things first, get them in there. All right, 708. All right, now if you've ever been to a fish foil before, this is quite a dining experience to say the least. Door County is definitely home uh, to the fish foils. We've been doing traditional fish foils here at the old post office restaurant since 1978 now, so 40. Three years they've been doing fish foils here at this restaurant. We're actually one of the newer fish foil restaurants up here, up here in Door County. That's how old this tradition is. I've been doing them here for the last six years. And we do this in every single type of weather conditioning, no matter what, so rain or shine, we still do the fish boils, even if it's pouring down rain out back here. Believe me, this can't be done in the rain. We do it all the time. It's not any fun. So before you guys all get here, I filled the kettle up with 25 gallons of water, three cups of salt going to the water. Salt is the only seasoning you put into a fish boil that's pretty much all the Norwegian settlers had back in the old days. However, that does actually season everything quite well, the fish the potatoes and the onions. You get your fire burning. It takes a good 20 minutes or half hour or so to get the water to start to boil. Once the water is boiling, you start your timer. At 30 minutes, each fish boil takes a half an hour. Potatoes go in the kettle first for the whole half an hour. Onions go in second, and depending on the size, these were some big ones, so I put them in right away after the potatoes went in, and then the fish will go in for the last seven minutes. And like I said the earlier, the fish we do use, they're fresh, they're local caught Lake Michigan whitefish. They're caught from both sides of North County, on Lake Michigan side and Bayside, depending on the time of year. Throughout the spring and the summer, almost all the fishing is done way out on the bay. And once the fall rolls around, end of September, it all switches over to the Lake Michigan side of the peninsula just because that's just the way all the whitefish schools move around. And we do buy all of our fish from a local fisherman right here in Door County. We get fresh fish delivered just about every other day from a guy named Rick Johnson. He's a fisherman from Gills Rock, which is all the way up at the tip of the peninsula. And he's been bringing the restaurant fresh whitefish for almost 40 years now. So just about every other morning, <laughs> spring, summer, fall, rain or shine, him and his crew get into their boats. They head out to their whitefish nets. The nets all get pulled in by a mechanical winch. The fish get taken back to their little processing facility in Gills Rock. And that's where they clean them all. They had them, gut them, tail them, and seal them there. And then just about every other day between three and four o'clock, he'll bring fresh white fish right to the back door of the restaurant. You get a break from the guy who catches them just about every other day. <laughs> he'll also cut them up for you like this if you want. They have a machine that'll cut up fish or you buy them whole and you cut them up all yourself. We always buy the fish whole and then I'll hand cut them all myself with a big razor sharp knife right before I bring them out and put them in the kettle before every single fish boil. It's the best way to do this. Buy them, uh, buy them and cut them up yourself. If you buy them pre-cut, or even cut them up yourself ahead of time and let them sit for a little while, they start to drain a lot of their natural fluids out and they kind of just dry out on you and shrink. So it's definitely a little bit more work for me, but it is a much, much better fish boil for you guys if you do it that way. In an average season, I cut up and boil about 30,000 pounds of them. So lots of fish get cooked out of this kettle every summer. <laughs> now the fish boil, this is an old, Scandinavian tradition. It was started off by Swedish and Norwegian immigrants back in the 1800s up here in Door County. Northern Door County is very rich in Scandinavian heritage. You kind of see it all over up here. Fish boils are part of our old Scandinavian heritage as well. Uh, most of the Swedes and Norwegians who settled here back in the 1800s, they were homesteaders up here in Door County. Basically got free land by the government just to move up to the area to start establishing growth to the upper Great Lakes. Some of them came up here and fished 
Most of them came up here and worked in the logging industry. Those would have been the two jobs back in the 1800s up here in Door County. There was plenty of fish out in the water, and the peninsula itself was heavily, heavily forested. <laughs> now, I don't think the fish boil was ever really intended to become a tourist attraction like it is today. This just would have been done in logging camps and fishing villages back in the 1800s up here in Door County. It probably would have just been an easy way to feed all the Scandinavian immigrants who were starting to settle up here on this remote peninsula. They had plenty of fish in the water. Well, potatoes, onions, butter, salt, five simple ingredients, and a big kettle like this, they would do fish boils like this, and it would have just been used to feed the tiny little communities back in the 1800s up here, which were really nothing more than logging camps and fishing villages at the time. So that's how it all started off. It wasn't until around the turn of the century, people started to appreciate all this natural beauty we have up here in Door County. They quit logging all the forests. They started designating areas for state parks, and they started to build and open the first hotels and resorts for tourists, including that one right there, the Edgewater Resort. Opened in the year 1900, it was one of the first hotels to open up here in the village of Ephraim. So right around that time, Door County started getting its very first tourists. Unlike today where we get over 2 million visitors up here every summer, if you came to Door County back in the early 1900s, you came up here by steamship. They didn't build the highways this far north on the peninsula until the late 1920s, so they started to bring tourists up here from Chicago and Milwaukee during the summertime on steamships. And if you were coming all the way up here from Chicago on a steamship back in those old days, you weren't coming up here for a long weekend, like most of you are probably doing right about now. It took a good 12 to 13 hours just to get all the way up here. Most of the guests who did come were very well off, and they'd spend a few weeks up here during the summertime. And back in those days when you stayed at a resort here in Door County, they cooked all your meals for you while you stayed here as well. They called it the American plan. Well, some of those old resorts and hotels started to do fish boils for their guests, and that's how the tradition was born here in Door County. We've basically been doing fish boils the traditional way just like this for the tourists ever since. So you can see this does go back well over a century. It's definitely Door County's oldest tradition, and you can date it all the way back to the very first European settlers up here in Door County. So there's a pretty neat thing. It's stuck around so long, we still do it the traditional way like this, using firewood and very soon a can of kerosene, which I have right over here. Now the kerosene thing at the end, this is probably something that was discovered by accident if I had to take a guess. But the last thing that you do at a fish boil, that is before you go inside to eat it, is the boil over. Basically, you get all this stuff cooking in this kettle like this. You start to get this layer of foam, scum, and even ash from the fire that simmers up to the surface of the kettle. So somebody along the way came up with the boil over where you throw a can of kerosene into the fire, makes a huge fireball, it makes a great picture too, so have your phone ready for that, but more importantly, it makes the whole kettle boil over and all this foam and ash and gunk from the top goes right along with it. It actually works quite genius. You'll see for yourselves in a moment. After the boil over, you guys go right ahead, walk back in between the two buildings, go right to your assigned tables. Everybody gets a plate with a couple of whitefish steaks. You get boiled baby red potatoes, a boiled onion. You put melted butter all over that. You get homemade breads, homemade coleslaw, and for a dessert, a slice of Door County turkey. Woo! So enjoy, it is quite a feast. Also, if you're new to Door County, uh, grab one of my flyers, thanks guys, as you pass through. I was born and raised up here. I did print off a bunch of stuff to see and do for new people, so if you're new to Door County, grab one of those. I also have a tip kettle, and tips are always appreciated, so thank you so much for that. You might wanna go behind the benches over on this side, because it looks like the fire's gonna come right back this way, with just a little bit of a wind, just for your own safety. Although as soon as I say that, the wind dies off, not always. <laughs> <laughs> All right, camera's ready, everyone. You want to get a picture of this? Kids, don't try this at home. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed all the fish.